Hey guys, Tatrap here bringing you a two today. We're on day 101. We've today spawning on the left. We've got McKellen with Wehrmacht going for Mick and I straight away. Team up with him, Ozilligath, Africa Corps. Location secure. So he's gone for Battlefield Espionage. Opposing them, we've got Gino with US Forces going for Airborne. I think he power dropped in this machine gun to the middle of the map. And not quite a king, Grenadiers also with US Forces. In terms of rankings, uh, I think a ranged team on the Axis side. Zilligath around 80, McKellen around 120, up against random teams on the Allied side. Uh, not quite a king, 120, Gino 170, so a bit of a rankings edge on the Axis side. My grenadiers have taken the location. We fire two green start from McKellen, no machine gun early on. Early flares going off there. Okay, uh, to a 4x4 four four now for Gino. He's got to try to stall point. inside the building. I was trying to work their way around the corner, but looks like they had to come around that rock, get suppressed. Partridge and meanwhile attack. capping out on the far edge. Looks like a uh, weapon support seemed to start from not quite a king. He's making quite a few machine guns here. You can see an early mortar to try and counter that. Pies get right up close on the machine gun. Oh, and the 4 by 4 is taking big damage from the Grenadiers. Oh, wow, the Pyro's got the kill there? Wow. That was crazy. 4 by 4 down. Machine Gun's kind of lucky to escape as well. That was not good for Gino. Patrickson comes in here, but... Seems to drive away. A bit of a cutoff play here as well. Not quite a king. Getting right up to the top side. I would be considering trying, yeah, trying to plant a mine. Try to catch the crowd shots in. Next time it comes up top. And you hear kind of getting out positioned. Has to retreat. I think he just had that on attack move. Oh boy, paratroopers. Oh, they switched their focus fire across though. That was a pyro wipe. Pretty sure. Just stayed on target. Some getting out of there. 250 coming up though with the Panzer Pyro inside of it. Enemy forces have claimed our sector. Can't see a flamethrower upgrading on it. It's a pretty long way to chase, but he was expecting it maybe to go up this way. It's coming through the middle of the map instead. But there's a We've couple of squads the in the retreat path. Artillery Observer upgrade pops. There's advanced infantry. And there we go, easy squad wipe. Commander, starting ISC upgrades. Okay, gonna put down a beacon back here. A fuel point is being lost. We even split on the map so far. Infantry, get to cover. Hasn't been that much competition for the far edge VP. Has to throw out a cheeky satchel, but so we guess saw that coming and now could maybe get a squad wipe on retreat. A little bit slow ch starting the chase. Oh, 259 upgrade pops though. An entire gun crew has been killed. Oh. Entire gun crew's been killed. Where did that machine gun die? Find it right now. Territory lost. Oh, here comes a uh, M3 though. 259 backing out of the eye. I have played quite a bit with the 259. It's okay. 
my feeling on it in ones is basically only worthwhile if you've got the machine gun upgrade on it from armor support. Just kind of need that extra damage to make the impact. Yeah, I mean, maybe maybe it'll be less important for the 259 to be like really, really good. That get some buffs besides that as well. Seems like at the moment Petrine's kind of struggling in a lot of the early infantry engagements. We can get spotted here. I wonder if this has got enhanced detection range. Probably does. Enemy activity near ammunition point. That's a nice kill for the quad. Should allow the allies much better control of this top side now. Look out that crud shots in. Crutchets may be also one of the reasons why I was struggling a little bit. Hasn't felt that good. Flare up, sniper. Getting some shots going here for Gina. So uh, he's also gone for weapon support center, like a side tech to it. Don't see that too often. Oh, oh slow cancelling the mine. In this game, it's so slow. Like after interrupting construction your unit is so slow running away it's kind of punishing to make sure you know if you're trying to build on the front lines your unit's pretty healthy so getting some good shots in here though Got the suppression on. They did manage to crawl into cover. Looks like only one of them's in cover. Captain's coming in from the other side, I think. Kellen hoping he's gonna recover, but doesn't look like it's happening there. Like feeling now coming in for Azilgeth. Looking some bazooka fire. He's gonna try to repair through the damage. Hope that he gets the pin off. Mass repairs working out well there for Zilli. Oh boy, but he's now he's shooting at the planes from Gino. Still shooting at the bazookas. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> Almost lost it there. Wow. <laughs> it's kind of annoying, right? Those a lot of these planes, you know, they're, they're like power dropping in units. You can't even shoot them down. And I, you know, I, I imagine that they want your AA to shoot at them for the sake of immersion, but as the player, it's not good. Oh, wait, Tika missed its first shot there, but looks like McKellen's going to back away. He's using button on the machine gun, don't see that too often. Bit of an unreliable ability, honestly. Cover training's better, that's what I always go for, but maybe you got a little bit of value there, scaring off. The eight round. Gonna dodge the arty with the AT gun. Quad's coming across to assist as well. Sniper doing some shots. Second eight ride coming in for McKellen. Damn it! Territory sector claimed by the enemy. McKellen doing some big damage. They pushed us off a sector. That's going to be tough to dislodge. He does have the Mora half track though. I think that's one thing the Mora half track is pretty good at doing, like a fast rotation. Units in the garrisons on the top side of the map. The double bazookas, though, working well with that long range while they're stationary. I'm feeling uh, actually could be in some trouble. He seems to be struggling to suppress. Quad's rolling up on it. He smokes. The quad cannot attack ground, but the bazookas can. One of the misses, though. Stun grenade out. The bazookas running away. Other bazookas coming up, though. 
He's waiting for the smoke to expire. There was a... Oh, it goes off and it kills it. Huge plays there for not quite a king. Does end up losing the bazooka, but that's a trade I think most players will be happy to take. Losing the bazooka to knock out the flak feeling. That's huge. The second AT gun out now for Gino. I do think there was an opportunity for McKellen, you know, just to drive right on top of that first AT gun, knock it out. And that would have been devastating. He didn't have the confidence. Beacon up here, back here. Paris holding up. Oh, finds the beacon, got to knock that out. What's coming across? There's no AT over here. Really? One more shots from the sniper. Big rotation to the top for Commander, not quite a king. Lost a sector. Okay, got the beacon out the back now. Subterfuge beacon. Uh, Ryan some camouflage. Oh, here we go. Eight rats coming around the corner. Both the AT guns right on top of each other. But again, McKellen, uh, if he played aggressively, just charged on top of him, he would have been fine, but he's backing away. Doesn't want to risk losing them. So he's not getting the full reward here. So they were severely compromised in their position. Now the sniper's just picking shot after shot. A lot of Hardy going off. Seems like not quite a king really liking building these beacons. A victory point is under attack. We must act. He's getting pounded by all the axis lights though. Rebuilds the Defend beacon a little bit further point. across this time. I think that is a slightly better position for it. Hard to find. Snipers are already up to VIT 2 though. Vitting up like crazy. M3 half track moving to the line. Fifty nine coming up to the top. Slowly doing damage with our squad inside. Obviously, it's rate of fire terrible. But enough to force away some infantry when there's no other resistance. Here comes the bulldozer. Double ATs now for McKellen. So I need the one bazooka to support that bulldozer. Blasted there by the artillery. This is quite open still. No mines down here. Could be a good option. Try to shut down those eight rods a bit. A bit of smoke out. Trying some moves here. Is not quite a king. Hit one's pretty good, like Foster's rocket situation. If he's gone for that. Ooh, instead the incendiary shot on the mortar half track, nearly wiping. Good thing about that incendiary shot, it's on a separate cooldown to the barrage. So, say if you started a barrage on something, you dodge away while it's still cooling down. Incendiary shot straight away. Gives the uh, Mortar Half Track quite a lot more utility, I feel. The campaign up for Geno. Sees the AT guns. Bulldozer comes through just for a cheeky hit or two. Seems 
Looks like the X's are behind on VPs at this stage. Three AT guns now for Gino. He goes down in the middle. All the AT guns are just lighting this up. He's got the incendiary munitions as well. Oh, and he took another shot too, close to max range. There goes a, a pixel after that. Okay, now a mid half track out for Gino. I think if you're going for like a very support weapon heavy style, makes a lot of sense. A bit of beacon action here. No dodge from McKellen. Took some big damage. Do feel like the aid rads haven't been used to their full potential, but still alive at least. Be careful with attack move. We'll shoot at vehicles. Okay, here we go. Some arties uh, coming down. Is this uh, zeroing artillery? Yep, it is indeed. Oh, greedy stuff there from Gino trying to recover the machine gun. Cost him his paratrooper. Ouch, that is really not good. Both US players. Uh, Go for their own healing. This one was more towards the middle if they wanted to share it. I think it's alright going for your own healing. You know, the casualty clearing function. Very useful. Okay, there we go. 259. It's a mine. And he's about to go down to the bulldozer. Or meanwhile. What was it again? There's a Hellcat up here, and the Bazookas. It's a P4 Assault Group, of course. We're just coming back up this way now. Long range vision provided, and the sniper's taking full advantage of that. He cruised the MG42. Sniper's been so many kills, and then kills it off as well. Following up with the triple AT gun blob. McCallum probably needs to go for a Nebelwerfer. He's opting for a Panther, but he's already got double AT guns. Should, you know, fend off one tank from the Allies without too much trouble. What's the Panther going to do against triple AT guns of Gino? I don't know. It seems like a bad call for McCallum to go for this Panther. Let's call there. Harris pushing right the way in. Artillery batteries are requesting orders, Commandant. X is capping up the top. Another paratrooper, I think, being deployed here for Gino. Second bulldozer now for not quite a king. Surprised the sniper hasn't hit V3 yet. I think you need a lot of kills to get V3 on it though. Oops. Mine doesn't go to the way as Ilyath was hoping. The bulldozer is heading up to the top. Should be able to force a lot of retreats. I think that's actually a, a pretty smart play. Sending the Panther up to the top. And the P4 try to play away from all the AT guns. Catch her like an isolated Hellcat here. That'd be very good. And here we go. Oh, shoots at the bulldozer first and exposes his rear armor as well. Here comes the P4 though as well. Some snares. He's got the super snares. The incendiary munitions buff ones with more damage. He's done the full wrap around now with the Panther. The uh, bazookas right there. One bulldozer goes down. Appearing through the damage here. No 
mid truck up here as well. There's good support play from Mazilliat bringing this up. Really assisted his position. Nice kill on the bulldozer. Good bit of coordination there from the Axis. In the meantime, though, Gino has claimed the bottom. Hit bit three on the sniper. A victory point is under attack. We must act. So uh, the EP situation is still pretty good for the Allies, in spite of that loss. Battalions relinquish Rangers for us. About time. A weapon has been decrued. 1919. I think forgotten about there. It's just sitting under fire for so long. Incendiary shot from the motor half track. Kill that off with eight rods. Oh, forgot about these AT guns. One of them decrewed there. Enemy forces are converging out of Some stalls trooping coming out, but they're getting hit with the suppression. Not their one yet, so. Break free of that. Pushed right the way up with four AT guns now, Gino. This is really risky doing a move like this. Okay, Winter Blob coming in for not quite a king. He's making a bit of a push, and he's dropping the buff on them too. They have a decrew one AT gun. Are going to try to jump on that, maybe? I don't know. Who goes there's something to say about it. Zeroing artillery forces the AT guns back. Didn't decrew any of them, and forgot about these greenies. One of them went down to the paras in close quarters. Blob just acting as a distraction, and it's working well for the allies here. Double super snares and it's enough. They have vet two and the bonus damage from the incendiary munitions. And the bulldozer goes down. Crazy. The T grenades are so strong. Huge damage. Zuka doing a pretty good job here, just you know, sitting behind heavy cover, trading with the P4. Yardy starts falling on him. Didn't kill off this AT gun though. We'll say that seems like a mistake from the allies. Specifically not quite a king. I think he could have knocked this out with his Hellcat. Another AT gun coming in for Gino. He's up to five now. You know, I said it before. I think that McKellen making a mistake. Ability ready. Not going for a nibble with it. He's continuing Enemy along this path. He's picked up a second Stoss Trooper in the meantime. I think he's going to try like merge into them with his green ears. Enemy activity near our munitions point. To uh, cheapen up the reinforced cost. At the moment, they're kind of getting torn up. Here comes the walking Stuka. This could be nasty. Right in the sniper's wheelhouse. Looks out the mid half track. Raises the sniper. Made out. Dodges it though. Double late rod just tearing through power up. Quad AT gun blob lining up on the panther. He's slow getting away with it. Quad AT gun blob. Have a nuke. Roll away here. Pressure from the Dak infantry. Let's just rock a boot from the bazookas helping save the day. But you know, definitely gonna need to rebuild that mid half track. Walking Stuka, you know, obviously also a good piece of rocket artillery to help deal with quad ATs or. Five of them actually. 
complain up the back provides some super good vision. And the AT gun block is rolling forwards, pushing the Axis right the way back. Losing control on the top as well, the Axis. They're in some major trouble here. <laughs> Looks at these mines, they just got queued up. Completely distorts the UI. And here we go, the AT gun blob rolls up and... It's the story of this match, man. McKellen really slow dodging away when his units start to get hit. I don't know if he's like... Music on or something, so he can't hear the audio cues, but... Something's going on there. He needs to sharpen up. But... Big walking Stuka. Gino, you know, a bit slow pulling back after killing the Panther. He loses all of the AT guns. So... <laughs> he's right down in the dumps, but I suppose, you know, pretty similar population with McCallum, but... Gun's going to be able to steal away maybe two of these AT guns. Buff, buff up his pop. So he's burst forwards. Okay, didn't notice this, but a Howie out the bat from not quite a king. Goes pushing forwards. So rent a blob with the buff again. Just damage to the P4. It's a pretty good use of the stone grenade, and with the suppression right there, shutting down the blob pretty effectively. Good work from the Axis. Ooh, something's not in the capture circle. Whoops. Axis are falling way behind on VPs. Realizes that now he's moving in. Captain in major trouble. Stop drooping, gets suppressed. Don't quite finish the job. It's the Vet 1 ability. So machine guns in major trouble here. There's this rebuild on the sniper. Hit by the LEIG as well, he's trying to out reinforce fire. Cruise it from the half track. There's the walking Stuka. Oh, he's going after the howitzer. Interesting. Press in with the AT guns a little bit, perhaps. Reports of enemy movement near our victory point. So we get the. Uh, he's got going. Got quite a lot of resources. Maybe stalling up for the tiger. His population uh, limit though, he's not going to be able to bring the tiger in. It's about 20 pop, right? He's only got 12 to spear. Oh, if we slip that through. <laughs> there you go. Who goes up the top? Needs to get the cap going again. Charge shells coming in here, stunning the P4. Okay, the AT gun blobs being rebooked by Gino. One AT gun at a time. At the back, really helping out against these Stoss Troopin. The walking Stuka Barrage doesn't look like not quite a King repaired this at all. Luckily, it doesn't go down though. There goes a hold in the top. We complain in again for Gino. Oh, is this the end of the captain? Yes, too late on the retreat. Vet 2 Stoss. Tearing it down eventually. Oh, the bazooka's coming in from the side. The P4 drops back only a tiny distance, but it's hanging on by a threat. Bonus range? No. Use the phosphorus rocket on the triple AT gun blob. 
Oh, and then the LAIG, look at that. That was a nasty hit. Uh, Arty from the captain, not too much he needs to dodge away from. Did free up some pop cap though for Zidia, so he did manage to squeeze in the tiger. So that is absolute limit now though. Could, you know, hurt him for repairs a little bit. I imagine he's got some army um, buffs. He's got the self repairs. All right. Now getting dangerously low on VPs, but the Tiger could make the difference here. Second AT gun in for Gino now. He's going out to cap on the far edge. Campaign up, providing the long range version. Rent block coming in for not quite a king again. Hellcats okay, behind this. Oh boy. Oh, Hellcat goes down. I think Zeroing Artillery's down here as well. Bit of charge shells action out the back though, getting some nasty hits on all these Axis team weapons. Ooh. Just ran into a mine there with the Tiger, that could have been nasty. Might have been the end of it. They were coming up, but getting blasted by the charged shells as well. Sniper on the run. Oh, the tiger dies? Oh, the AT guns must have pushed up from the sides and knocked it out. Wow. Gotta be a bit more careful with your tiger than that. Stuka. AT guns are low, but it doesn't decrew them. I only dropped two models as well. Supply lines are cut. Territory is isolated. A battle group ability has been made available. But maybe the Axis feeling the heat. Maybe felt like he needed to play more aggressively with that tiger. So feeling the VP pressure. Four came up to the top, chased away the units, but doesn't have vehicle capping, so can't secure any ground with it yet. So we've got a few decrew team weapons here out the back. And two did end up getting repaired. Still making good use of the uh, more half track there with the flame shot. Hellcats camping out in the middle now though. Oh, and then the Howie's coming in as well. LAT's lining up. One shot on. Holding centre, capping on the other side. Oh no, Gino's lost both of his AT guns. The Axis blob coming through. And that blob just shredded his Paris. Got Vet 3 Paris coming in now, though. Hold out a little bit longer. Don't know if the uh, Bumbia comes up for them, though. Kill off the AT guns. Bulldozer are coming down to assist, but there are two AT guns back there. Let's hit with the Faust as well. Ouch. That did not go well for not quite a king. Maybe he wasn't aware of the double AT guns. They were killing off the other AT gun. I not have noticed it though. Alright, it feels like the Axis just mounted a crazy comeback there. Zilli Gath. Uh, just needs to hang on in the centre. Though, getting some good hits. Back down here with the AT gun and the sniper. From there out the back, waiting for repairs. 
Stops charging ahead. This is pretty much perfect for the sniper. We have vehicles available. Oh, he's playing a dangerous game. He didn't want to retreat and he pays for it with his life. That was a very high vet stoss. Maybe a vet zero wouldn't have died there, the sniper, but didn't respect it. And the sniper's dead as a result. Stuka Stuka helps blast through the rent blob a bit. Don't think you get much virency killing these off either. Add to the body count, but not very impressive on the vet. More AT guns power dropped in by G Note. But he's up against two Brumbeer now. Uh, it's going to be a tougher obstacle. I imagine he's got a bunch of buffs. Not really. Here come the double Brums. Where's the AP rounds from Gino? Let's pop them on this one. Get some okay hits. Oh, he's used the brace ability on this, so it's taking way less damage. Comes the walking Stuka, though. Jeez, the AT gun's getting slaughtered. Yeah, without, without like a Hellcat, it's just too hard to deal with the double boom beer. Oh, no. Oh! Couldn't even see the flames on the ground. They died too. Okay, here we go. This could be big though. Hit with the charged shells here a little bit. P4 has forgotten about for a Zilligath. He's lucky he isn't getting hit with a direct shot from the Howie. So the Howie barrage wore off. Timed out. Oh boy, P4 up the top against the Bulldozer, which doesn't quite wipe the capping squad either. There is a mine back here though, with the P4 chases. Looks like he is tempted to go for it. He's got the vehicle capping, he's fast, but he's coming down the side. Not going over the mine area. Doesn't look like he's going to catch the Bulldozer though. I still have a lot of EPs up their sleeve to make this comeback. Do you know, way down on the dumps, 35 pop. But the Renter Blob rolling through the middle, killing off some crew weapons. And uh, backed up by the double Hellcats. Oh, Boombear's coming in from the side here. And T-Gun's in some trouble for Gino. Force coming up here. I'm going to catch these uh, low health bulldozers. The Hellcat's coming back to support. Probably going to save the bulldozers, but it is kind of hanging his team man out to dry while this is happening. Not helping against the boom bears. Oh, bulldozers missing. They do end up surviving. Before one more shot would have got the kill there, but didn't quite the opportunity for it. The recon plane out the back. The Howie fire coming in as well. 30 points left for the Axis. Oh, he's getting nailed by the charged shells. Walking Stuka, Renter Blob. It's going after the Howie, but it did get repaired, so. Oh boy, Brumbeer coming forward. It's actually quite low. Hellcat missing. This could be the end of one of these Brumbeers, though. One more shot. He's chasing. He's maybe losing vision. Oh, he gets the kill. Now backing away. 
And the AT gun's also trying to attack round through the smoke. Don't end up getting the kills. Nice play there from not quite a king. Just, you know, buy so much time with the renter blob. Allows you to, you know, keep the axis occupied, pinned down while you do a whole bunch of maneuvers behind it. Such a strong ability. Shell is just pounding away out the back, man. That M2A1. Super effective when the axes are all clustered into this tiny area. Oh, didn't reverse his AT guns here. What is this back here? Is this a Vespa? No. Nope. It's just the LEIG. Oh! Trying to get the cap off. Not gonna happen. Too many Axis tanks in the middle. Recon playing up, allies pressing into the middle, looking to close the show here. Shell shells coming in out the back again now. Those are trying to get something going there, but zoned by the double deck. The T guns with the incendiary munitions. No vet on this, so he doesn't have the smoke grenades. We're not going to be able to complete this cap. Has he got two beacons up here? Where are they? He's got one back here. I felt like he had two. Either way, his whole goes down. Yeah, he does have his second one back here. That's a cheeky spot. Didn't see it on the mini map. Gino, just hanging on. He doesn't have much, but he's into the center for the suicide caps. Got a late game crowd system, I mean, uh, kitten crowd rather, for the uh, vision. Camera paratroopers. Oh! AT guns taking care of the half track. And here comes the double Stug combat group. Two. Oh, okay, it's right there, and the AT gun's a little bit far back, not really supporting this push. Don't know about this call for a Zilligath. There's one of them there. Just needed his AT guns up here like five seconds earlier. Would have made it good, but they're still pressing forwards here, the Axis. Double bulldozers, still got a. Double boombies, rather, still got a bit of momentum. The Hellcats are still healthy, but. Playing very cautiously with them. Two stops guarding the site. I need to send the bulldozer over there to clear it up. Can't play up again. Oh, rebuild the flak feeling. He's had enough of these recon planes. Here. He's peeled the damage off from the last one again, though, so he's walking Stukas onto the emplacement, not really working out too well. Paris looking for a bit of a wrap around Gino, trying to look for a different opportunity. And here we go, big push for not quite a king. But that bulldozer went down in the blink of an eye. There's so many AT guns here for the Axis. Sturdy armored bulldozer. Oof, just relying on getting lucky bounces there to win. We 
Oh, doesn't look like McCallum was paying attention though. Loses his Stoss to a grenade. And a two on one situation now. Another grenade in. Doesn't dodge that one either. And loses it. Drops his LMG too. Nothing to pick it up though. He's going to recover one of the AT guns. Double Brumby is coming down to the other side. But the Axis are going to lose a couple of points here. I think the Paris have got camouflage, not fast capture. He complains, sees the Brumby is coming. He's got two AT guns here. Doesn't have much munitions though. Can't use the AP ammo. Double Brumby is just driving straight up. Knocks out the Paris, the Vic 3 Paris. Oh, a T-gun from the side as well now, actually. And one getting dropped out the back, you know, dropping one in behind enemy lines. Trying to get some rear armor hits going, perhaps. Uh, Stoss are ticking. Oh, he does! He gets the kill on this. I thought it might have disappeared into fog. One needs to come back in. The other Brumby are trying to repair through the damage, through the threat. Okay, kills off the uh, Kirsten. That's actually okay. Another one decrewed. Brumby are driving away from any more fire. 12 points left for the Axis, but they're still standing. And again, Gino trying for that big move. He ends up losing a lot. If he can recover these AT guns, though, he's still in an okay position. It's just he doesn't have anything. <laughs> he doesn't have anything, you know. It's pretty much the problem. Okay, Hellcats heading up to the top side. Okay, he's coming over here with his mid truck to. Heal and reinforce his teammates' units. Could even steal away some of these AT guns if he wants them. Is there a gap? He's still got a bit of room in his population. The enemy has lost their foothold. So rent a blob down the bottom. Backed up with one AT gun. Could crew some more of them though with these paras. Decrews the M2 this time round with the walking Stuka. Finally gets it. Vet 3 on this now. And we're backing away. Oh, no dodging the grenade. Those cook grenades. Short fuse on them with the Paris. Got to be sharp on your dodging. T guns coming in. Another AT gun here. I'm surprised he doesn't. Targeting the repair units. That's a smart play. Looks out one of the pies. Here comes another Brumby though to tag in. T4 came up to the top but chased off by the Hellcats. Nine points left here for the Axis. They're going back down to the bottom side. Two squads coming in but they're draining out. Don't think they've got the time here. Decap this. Four points. Paras. Oh, I don't think they stopped it even for a split second, but I don't think it's going to matter. Yes, only got about 80% done on the decap there. Oof. <laughs> okay, well, that was an unusual game. Don't often see five AT guns rolling around in a blob. But as soon as the AT guns, you know, got caught out of position, the Allies were struggling to compete from there on out. I think they lost like, what was it, like four of them or so up here. From that point, Gino was really just trying to squeeze out a few VPs here and there, never got to a uh, considerable army again after that. But yeah, yeah some crazy stuff in this match. <laughs> But the Allies end up, you know, just squeaking it out in the late game. Just a few maybe careless losses, I think, from McKellen, you know, losing a Stoss Troop into a few of these grenades, charging the 
Kitten in here and losing it to the AT guns might have just been the difference maker in holding on to the VPs. Rebooked the uh, Howie down here, I see. Still a very strong army. King. Look at some of these stats. So they're gathering a huge amount of damage. I imagine his AT guns with the incendiary munitions. Stacking up massive. And McCallan on his side, you know, didn't have any vehicles to shoot at really. So he's doing a lot of infantry damage. Katie's looking really good for the Axis because they're always slaying those renter blobs, padding their stats. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like, can recast by me. Details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.